Clasby here back with another GCSS Army helpful tip and video. So I received an email today from this guy named Josh. By the way, thank you for subscribing, asking me what's the correct way to uninsure a part from a work order. He said he's caught his clerks and I've caught my clerks doing this too by just going into the work order and deleting it out of there. That's wrong. All right, so I'm going to show you how to uninsure a part from a work order today. Now we're going to go through Z Saber for this, but you don't have to use Z Saber. Once you're in your equip sit and you highlight the admin number you want to work on, if you hit the work order button, you can get to it from there. Once you're in iWhiskey 32, all these steps will be the same. OK, so without further ado, let's jump into Z Saber here. Back out. So I'm going to go to Z Saber. Now, if you don't know the work order number that you uh, are working on, you can search your whole uh, main work center here and pull it up that way but i know my work order number so i'm just going to work on that one one zero one zero six one nine one six one all right and i'm going to hit execute so here is the work order that we're going to unissue a part out of okay so let me go back one screen here and make sure you saw that so once you're in here you will Click on the work order number. You're going to go to component tabs. Now you'll highlight the part that you want to unissue, okay? So I'm going to unissue this part, the air spring vehicular, right? I'm going to go to extras, documents for order, goods movements. Now, all the good movements for this work order will be here, okay? So if you see nothing, that means the part was never issued, okay? So I'm going to unissue the elbow pipe to tube. So a key thing you need to look for on this screen here is the material dock number. This is what you're going to need in order to perform step two of So we're going to back all the way out here. And then we're going to go into what we call MIGO. So just keep in mind your clerks or ERPs are not going to be able to do this. It's going to take someone at the maintenance manager level. Now, my stuff already pre-populated, so you're always going to be for A03 for cancellation and R02, right? And then you're going to type in that material document number right here. So once it loads, it's all going to fill out all the information for you. All you're going to do is hit item OK. You're going to check it. And you're going to post. Material doc has posted. All right. So. You can back out. You can go back into Z Saber. Or however way you want to do it. I'm going to go back to the work order. I'm going to open it up. Components. I'm going to highlight the air spring. goods movements and you can see where we just took that out of the work order right there right and another way you can do that is you can actually go to your equip sit boom and then look for the admin number Eleven. All right. I'm going to go to the 598 and I'm going to show you where the parts not issued anymore. So there you go. Air spring quantity on hand. We removed it from issued. So that's how you successfully unissue an item from a work order. OK, so just keep in mind now this material is sitting on your mat sit and it's not assigned anything. All right, so you can either do a few things, use it Consume it for another work order, or you can add it to, you know, your shop stock, bench stock. All right. So, hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go ordinance.